welcome to another one of our videos. Today I'm going to be showing you the installation and kind of reviewing these Alpha Rex LED tail lights for my 2011 Raptor. These should apply to any 2009 to 2014 F-150. Um, they'll fit all of those trucks. But I want to go through these. I haven't seen any videos on them yet. So I've seen plenty of uh, little pictorial reviews online, but I wanted to show these on video so everyone can get an idea of what they look like and smell and feel like and everything else. So take them out of the box. We got some custom fit foam. We have the tail light itself, which you can't see very well on the camera, but uh, we'll refocus here in a second. And then the other tail light underneath. So I'm going to go ahead and get this giant box off my workbench and then set the light up center stage here, and we'll take a look at that. Alrighty, so we have the tail light up here, and at first glance, it all looks actually really nice. I'm not a big fan of aftermarket tail lights normally, but there's really no good looking LED option out there for the uh, first gen Raptors. So this was the, the best thing that I was able to find at the time um, of filming this, which is early 2022. And they, they look pretty decent. They seem to be pretty decent build quality. Now my truck's a black truck, so I went with the smoked look lights. You can see on the back side, we've got some little blank off stickers for uh, where some of the bulbs go. And I think these are just where the LEDs plug into bulb sockets. You can see the connectors right there. We have built-in load resistor, which is nice, so we don't have to worry about wiring any of that in ourselves for the turn signals or anything like that. Um, got the little drain tube, as most taillights and headlights have. And overall, construction, fit and finish, it looks pretty darn good overall. So now I'm going to go ahead and, uh, before I even install these, I'm going to go ahead and ceramic coat them because uh, I want to make sure that they last as long as possible. I live out here in the desert southwest in Arizona and the sun really takes its toll on everything so I want to make sure I've got these protected. And we're going to go out to the truck and uh, show you the installation and everything. Alright so we're here at the back of the truck and we should need to do nothing more than remove these two 8 millimeter bolts here and basically push the tail light back towards the back of the truck. So we're going to try that here in real time. Bolt number one. And here is bolt number two. There's bolt number two. And this tail light is getting awfully loose. I don't know if we're gonna push or pull or what. That looks like we're gonna pull. And there we go. Tail light's free. So all we need to do now is we're gonna retain these factory bulb sockets. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop the bulb socket loose. Hopefully you can see some of that. If not, then my apologies. Bulb socket popped loose. This middle one is being stubborn. Look at this top one. There we go. Middle one's loose now too. So that is all three sockets loose and the tail light out. So Removal of the lights is as easy as that. I'm going to go ahead and clean all in here. I highly recommend you do that too. And I personally am also going to be popping the uh, little lower lamps here, the marker lamps, and I'm going to be polishing these up, uh, polishing those up too because mine are a little cloudy. So I'm going to go ahead and clean all the stuff inside the tail lamp uh, housing area and move on from there. All right, so tail light area is all cleaned up. I got the lamp down here all polished up. Um, if you're going to do that, make sure you just press it out from the back side. There's a connector back in here that you can get to and release and everything, but uh, overall that's, that's a pretty darn easy thing to do. Um, all of this is ready to go in now. There's a couple, it looks like, clips that are... I'm not sure where they go, but that are kind of floating around in here. We'll see how that all secures onto the new tail light. So, new lamps here. What we're going to need to do is, for the bulb sockets, pull out the old bulbs. I'm hoping, I'm going to have to put the tail light down for this, that this new light is not polarity sensitive, because otherwise we're going to have to pop it in, test it, and possibly pop it back out. But you can see we have the old bulb out here. Old bulb comes out here. Those we just have to pull out. And then, again, no instructions, but I assume that the top... Uh, lead from the taillight plugs in here, bottom lead plugs in there. You'll see I have a different bulb here. This is a nice little LED one that I have uh, from a company called Last Fit. I like their 
LED lights, although the one thing I don't love about them is the fact that they show up a little bit amber inside the, the housing because they're colored a little bit amber. But um, we can go ahead and throw that one in the bottom here. And it should sock it in and then twist to lock. There we go. And then, like I said, I assume bottom goes to bottom and top goes to top. So bottom's in, top comes up, top's in. And before I socket those into place and button everything up, I'd like to test it out, although I think I'm going to have to socket them in and then test it out once the lights pop into the truck. So I'm going to go ahead and tuck the wires. Hopefully you're able to see at least some of this. Tuck the wires down into place into the light that are coming out of the light normally. I did remove those white stickers too, I want to mention that. And then I'll tuck these upper ones as well. And the light should just slide into place. I don't necessarily want to pop it all the way in because I want to make sure that the lights are plugged in correctly. So that's popped somewhat into place. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the camera, make sure everything's working, fix anything that's not, and by fixing that, all we're going to have to do is flip the way that the socket's inserted. So just flip it 180 degrees from light to socket, and then everything should work. So I'm just going to test brake lights, turn signals, and in reverse light, of course, as well. Come back after that. Tested everything out. Everything worked well. So I'm not going to pull everything apart and double check to see if they're polarity sensitive or not, these lights. but. I'm assuming they're not because the chances of me getting um, everything correct in the first try is slimmer than, than having the, the chances of me having something that's not flipped correctly. So I'm going to assume these are not polarity sensitive. Um, and now that everything's connected, I mean, I, I saw the bulbs in and everything, those are all sealed up and good to go. I just pushed the light in a little bit more. I was expecting to hear a click, didn't hear a click. Don't know if the OEM ones click in, to be honest, because I had never pulled one out before. But we're now ready to go ahead and put everything back together. So these holes don't 100% align perfectly, but they align well enough that we're able to get a screw started. So screw started there. I'm gonna take a ratchet and get that going. These are kind of self-tapping screws that go into the plastic. And this bottom one is even a little bit less well aligned. So I'm probably gonna need to put some force into that one to get it to line up. And I'm going to go ahead and snug that one down to start with. I'm going to snug this one down right here. Those are Nice and snug, not over tight. Not using a ton of torque on the rack, just using my palm. And that's these installed. So let me uh, move the camera and I'll show you kind of what these look like. Not lit up as well as lit up. It's not gonna be the best shots in the world just cause I'm stuck in a garage, but I'll show you how it looks. So here's what the light looks like now installed. Everything is, is set back in place. It's all bolted in like you saw. And this is what it looks like with just the ignition on the headlights are on obviously because the marker light down here is and the reverse light on so the uh the little parts that are white normally light up nice and red looks nice the reverse light looks brighter in the camera than it is in real life but it, it is very bright in real life too um, and that's with that led bulb that i put in if you use your stock one it's not going to be this bright it's not going to be this white so that's what the light looks like in that state now if we go ahead and hit the brake you'll see what it looks like when we light up the brakes you can see it lights up nice and instantaneously because it's LED, nice and bright, and it is quite bright from the back. And if we let off the brakes, we can turn on the turn signal, and you can see what the turn signal looks like. Now, we won't do the turn signal on the brakes. 
I just tried that a minute ago and it doesn't actually turn on the, the light that's signaling. I forgot that these trucks, because it's flashing the brake light essentially, it will only turn on the cab light, which is the third brake light right there. And it'll turn on the other brake light, but it's not gonna light up the one that's signaling. So no need to do that. And then if we stop turn signaling, we'll go ahead and shut the truck off by turning the ignition key off. And you can see what it looks like with the uh, with everything off. So um, it looks pretty good. Um, I really like the way that they look whenever they're on, whenever the truck's on, lit up. I'm not in love with the way that they look with it off. I'd rather these be in red. Um, but that's that's me being nitpicky, and I can live with this at least until I maybe see something else that I like better. So maybe if more Moto comes out with a tail light, or if Alpha Rex comes out with a, a different styled one, uh, I might go with something like that. I do like the red ones that they have as well, the red red smoke, quote unquote, but they didn't have any whenever I ordered these, number one, and number two. I don't know that I like those as much on the black truck as I do the black lights on the black truck. I really like the black surround and everything. Um, and I can't remember if those have it, but I think that was a factor in my decision making. It's been a while since I actually bought these. I bought these, uh, added to cart and purchased over a year ago at this point, whenever I'm filming the video. So it's been a little bit, but that's kind of why I went with these ones. But overall, I do like them. I'll run them. I'll see how I, I like them long term. And if I decide to change it up, I'll change it up. But with that, I want to thank you all for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. Take care.